do some more with some instant reaction before we go live for night chat tonight. Yeah. First NBA in season tournament game for the Kings. It's a win over OKC. Whoop, whoop. It was fun, man. Great energy in the building. And oh, look, Mike Brown said after the game. What'd he say? You shoot 41%. 27% from three. Last year, they lose that game, and I agree with them, dude. They brought it. Herter rebounding. Yep. One rebound shy of a double-double. Mm. Keegan double-double. Sabonis triple-double. But what I love tonight, Keegan wasn't making shots early, Morgan. No, he you was what he not. did? He said, I'm going to attack. And he went and laid one on Chet's head, Bop. and that woke him up. That woke him Well, not only did that wake him up, I love, too, the fact that he was like, well, I don't know if I want to shoot these three-pointers anymore, but Mike Brown says I'm going to be taken out. So what did he do? He adjusted. He started pump faking, going in for just either a nice little jumper and or going in for an angry dunk. I loved what we saw. He didn't let it affect his entire game. Yeah, so shout out to him for a big-time performance. Also, Sabonis was just Sabonis, Ooh, dude. He was a monster on the glass. Talk about another guy that had an angry dunk in that two-man game. He got Kevin Chet, Herter. too. Yes, he did. Chet, man. And Chet's talented. Uh, the Kings got him twice tonight. And Kevin Herter. Man, am I happy for Kevin Herter. It looked like he was starting to come out of this slump a little bit the mm -hmm. last couple of games. It looks like he's out of it now. He had everything going tonight. He was knocking yes. down threes. The in-between game. Oh, and he was rebounding. Yeah. No, that's what was so great. And I think he had three steals. So, again, a guy that didn't allow missed shots or whatever else was going on with his game affect his game going forward. And that's what I love. You saw just a different energy, a different mentality from the squad. And that was without De'Aaron Fox again. Also, I got to give what? love to Keon Ellis. Again, in the starting lineup tonight, Stockton... The Stockton Kings open their season tonight in Santa Cruz. I think most people would have thought Keon would be there yeah. playing for them. Yep. Instead, he's in Sacramento in the starting lineup, playing 30 minutes, and the guy was a pest. He had three blocks tonight. Mm -hmm. He scored. He played with confidence. He tried to make life hard on SGA, which is tough to do. SGA still did his thing, but he had a couple nice deflections. I love what I saw from Keon Ellis tonight. And he played in some big, important yes, minutes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Game. It Late just, game. It's cool that Mike Brown had that kind of trust for him, but it all started, Matt Barnes and I were talking about this, it all started with that opportunity at the end of garbage time game in mm -hmm. a shitty loss to Houston, yep. and he ended up scoring 15 points, sure, whatever about that. It was him doing it all, just taking charge of that opportunity, and it led to this moment. Also, shout out to Sasha, comes in yes. out of the blue. Kessler Edwards got beat on the back door by SGA, and then all of a sudden Brown goes to Sasha. He comes in, active hands, hits mm -hmm. a couple of threes. Mm -hmm. He was big. Malik did his thing because that's what Malik does, gets guys involved, brings energy. Hey, the Kings are four and four. Yes. Four and four. If you would have told me the Kings would be four and four <laughs> and De'Aaron Fox would miss four games, you would have signed up for it. Kings off for the weekend. Heal up. Get ready for the Cavs coming up on Monday, and we're going to be live for Night Check coming up in a bit. Tell us who was your player of the game, your favorite moment in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe.